My name is Donna Hilton, and I'm the president of Steam Train Incorporated. Steam Train is a nonprofit organization that is committed to moving generations of underrepresented and under-resourced populations to the opportunities that lie in STEM. That is the disciplines of science, technology, engineering, and math. We've embarked upon this mission to raise a culture of STEM right here in our city. And we've done so over the past three years by offering a set of really instrumental programs, including core programs that we have initiated, as well as programs through our partnerships. Our core programs include Adventures in Learning STEM Camp. And in that program, we teach children from preschool to sixth grade about the disciplines by introducing them to explore hands-on topics like robotics and like the sciences and like programming. We also offer programs to teenagers. We have done computer programming for teenagers in a summer camp called Mobile Application Development Camp, or for short, we call it Mad Camp. We also have a program for workforce development where we train adults to become tech professionals. We started out doing web development training, and we've since switched to doing IT support training. We know that this work is important, especially now. And Steam Train recognizes that we don't do this work by ourselves. So I'm really pleased that we have been able to partner with, with entities like the Middletown Public Schools and with Middlesex Community College and with employers. In this video today, you're gonna to hear testimonies from some of our partners and some of the people that we've served over these past few years. And you will hear them tell you how their lives have been impacted by the work that Steam Train does. We are hoping that through this video you will learn a little bit more about this organization and that you will consider being a sponsor or support of the work that we do. My name is Michaela Kingsley. I'm director of the Patricelli Center for Social Entrepreneurship at Wesleyan University. A few years ago, I was meeting with one of my students who had recently gotten involved with the organization through uh, Middlesex Community College, as a matter of fact, and uh, I started to learn about it from him and was very intrigued by the model. And shortly thereafter, I had the chance to meet Donna. And it was then that I realized the incredible power and potential of this organization. So not only is it opening up doors of opportunity um, boldly and inclusively for members of our local community, but is also run by this powerhouse who's able to connect the dots and connect the communities. The thing that stands out to me so much about Steam Train, really it's the core value of opening up doors of opportunity by empowering people. So everybody who has the opportunity to participate in one of STEAM Train's programs then can go out and use what they've learned um, to be agents of their own growth and success. And I also believe that Steam Train's approach of connecting different stakeholders through their programs has been an important piece of the recipe. So offering apprenticeships and matchmaking people with potential jobs and then letting those relationships blossom into growth for all of the stakeholders is something that sets Steam Train apart from other organizations. Hi, my name is Maksuda Hamid. I graduated from Wesleyan University in 2019 and I'm currently a second year doctoral student here at Stony Brook University. So I learned about Steam Train uh, back in 2017. I had a strong desire to give back to my communities and felt that I needed to considering that I had uh, greatly benefited from uh, many uh, programs and organizations with that that had uh, a similar mission to Steam Train, and so it only made sense to join. And luckily, through my network at Middlesex, I was able to meet Donna, and 
it's all from there. And sort of why I think Steam Train's work is important is because Black, Black, Latin, and additional underrepresented groups have been historically excluded from STEM. You know, I think it's necessary that um, scientists are back in the community and trying to mend and build back bridges to the communities, Black, Latin, and other represented groups that have been excluded. Hello, my name is Mangle Ajoka Narte. I'm a sophomore at Central Connecticut State University and I am majoring in Management and Information Systems. Steam Train has helped me get to where I am. It's helped me so much to just keep me pushing forward and keep striving for more. I was a sophomore when I first was exposed to Steam Train. I took a coding camp um, held by Pastor Donna at Middlesex Community College, and that was my first exposure to coding, and I had so much fun. I got to learn to code myself, and I eventually started helping other people code. And with that, I was able to move forward with her in um, helping out in Farm Hill Elementary School with the fifth grade girls. We were, we were able to expose them to Scratch, and we helped them learn how to use Scratch and create little videos with Scratch and it was so much fun. And then over the summer, I was able to help her partner with Gear Up and we worked with students to expose them to STEM careers and just STEM overall. And I got to present for Technology Day and I got to be her little assistant and help out with the students with whatever questions they may have had. And it was such an amazing exposure and such a great and wonderful experience for me. And through all the help that Steam Train has helped me with and through all the exposures Steam Train has exposed me to, I've been able to solidify myself in management information systems. And I'm looking for jobs and internships that'll help me move further with my career. And honestly, it all began with me going outside of my comfort zone. So being comfortable with being uncomfortable is so important to me. And Steam Train has really helped me learn that and solidify that in my personal life. And so, I'm so grateful for all that Steam Train has done for me, and I can't wait to see what else I can do with Steam Train in the future. Good day, everyone. I'm Don Moreno, and I am the Family Engagement Coordinator for the Middletown Public Schools. I have met with Donna Hilton, and, and I really enjoy the Steam Train program because it, it mentors um, parents, and, um, and it also takes networking. The old um, saying, it takes a village to raise a family. Is, is really true and um, with Steam Train it provides that wraparound support to help family families with the challenges they face um, and, and getting a, a better job or going back to school or getting a certificate to get them a better job. Um, challenges like childcare and just the time to do it and also the confidence and so one of the partnerships we have is I work with Parent Leadership Training Institute which is a program to help parents become advocates for children and we all need to be an advocate for our child because when they're little and they're young they don't have a voice and and do they really have an effective voice so we we help parents with Parent Leadership Training Institute and then um, we we encourage them to look into the STEAM train as, as a way to take another um, step in, in their life development and their life skills. I've had a couple parents from parent leadership then go in and join the STEAM Train program. Um, and one uh, single dad uh, was able to go through the program and, and get a better job, move from um, a restaurant service job to, to a career in, in technology. And we're really excited about his success. Hello, my name is Rudy Perez. I'm a single dad of three boys. I um, I work almost all my life in restaurants, and I recently graduated from the Fast Track uh, Academy um, over the summer in 2020. Um, a STEAM train program has uh, impacted my life in a way where it has given me confidence. Um, I was always afraid of technology, um, not thinking that I was good enough or smart enough to handle at uh, in given times. So I started, I tried to stay away from it as much as I could. Um, but, you know, I hit a limit on my job where I couldn't see any more growth there. And after COVID-19 hit, um, I lost my job. And having the opportunity given by the, the program, I put time and effort to to learn this skill, you know, and uh, STEAM, the program has not only given me the opportunity to learn another skill and the knowledge to know something 
that is so uh, it's growing now in days a days um, that but also has given me hope me and my kids to to be able to provide for my family to for them to know that uh, daddy has another skill and I feel personally more you know accomplished in life to know that uh, now I can go have that confidence to apply to different jobs and to know that I can grow because um, the field is so large and there's so much things to to that you can do and I just want I'm grateful for the opportunity and for everyone behind it that supports and helps for this program uh, because the same way it helps me I know it has helped other people other guys other moms and other one you know that we have struggled so much um, with the jobs that we only know about so I I want to say thank you and God bless you. Hi, my name is Brittany Reynolds and I am a graduate of Steam Train's Fast Track Academy. While I was in the academy, I learned HTML, CSS, and design skills that I am still using today. I graduated at the top of my class and was offered a web development job. The skills I learned increased my pay and opened the door for more job opportunities. Currently, I have the privilege of serving on the board of directors for Steam Train, and I am grateful for the impact that Steam Train has had on my life and the lives of my family. Hi, my name is Sean Bennett, and I'm one of the senior managers here at Desian Inc., a local IT company out of Portland, Connecticut, and a partner of Steam Train. We recently hosted an apprentice here for 48 working hours, and we had the opportunity to evaluate a potential help desk technician. We were very satisfied with the candidate that was sent over here, and it provided us an opportunity to do this at no charge, uh, fully covered by steam train, and also provided an opportunity for a potential technician that would not otherwise get it. I look forward to working with steam train again in the future. Hello, my name is Leslie Jones. I am a graduate of the Fast Track program. Uh, it opened a lot of doors for me um, by allowing me to get a Google IT certificate. Um, I learned Linux, which I didn't know before. Um, I had wonderful instructors. It was led by uh, Donna Hilton and also E. Wayne Rose, who were excellent, excellent at their craft. Um, they continue to help me after I graduated the program and I also interned at Desian in Portland, Connecticut. I was told that once a position opens after my internship, I will be eligible to work there. Um, they were very impressed with my work and they informed me that once a position opens, I won't even have to interview for the job. Um, I already have it because they were very impressed by my performance. Mark Filligate, I'm a lead electrical engineer for Hallam ICS. We're a consulting engineering firm right here in downtown Middletown, Connecticut. And every year, our company has a mission to donate money to a charitable nonprofit organization that has a focus on youth and families and those in need. And two years ago, Steam Train was the recipient for the Connecticut Award. And we provide that donation because of their mission to move generations, especially those of those who are underserved, under-resourced, and to be able to uh, advance them in careers in science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And that is something that in our industry we're seeing a shortage on that. And that's one of the reasons why it grabbed our attention. We also came alongside them and partnered with them. And in part of that, we participated in some of the camps. In one of the camps in particular, we taught about electrical engineering. We did a summary of what electrical engineering is about. We then gave them a problem to solve, to design a circuit to meet a challenge, then to build a circuit using breadboards, wires, resistors, uh, LEDs, and then to compete in various teams to see who can meet closest to the challenge. And though we had one team that was a winner, they all won because they all had functioning circuits. And then after that camp session, when doing a recap, I asked if there was anyone who was inspired. And one young lady in that group said yes, she was inspired. And that's what it's about. Giving the opportunity to show someone that this is something they can do. 
It's, it's exciting, it's enjoyable, it's achievable. And that's what STEAM Train is about, to be able to let those, especially the under-resourced, the unserved, underserved, to let them know, yes, you can do it. You can achieve this. This is within your sights. Hi, I'm Reverend Deborah Hopkins of Charlotte Christian Church. I'm a supporter of the vision that God birthed in Pastor Donna Hilton called STEAM Train. STEAM Train provides access in the technology world for people to obtain jobs. As a woman uh, who's an advocate for women and an advocate for change, I strongly suggest that you would support STEAM Train because this allows us to participate in the job market that is normally not available to us. And then when you think about it globally, how far someone could actually go in the technology field. Our last fundraiser was organized and hosted by Jennifer Alexander, CEO of Kid City, and Reverend Deborah Hopkins. It was held on the beautiful rooftop of the Community Health Center. And many of you from our community came out to support us. For that, we will forever be grateful. But as you know, friends, the COVID-19 pandemic has made fundraising events very challenging. And so for that reason, Steam Train has decided to do our fundraising this year virtually. I do hope that from this video, you have gotten a glimpse into the work that we are doing in our community. Steam Train is seeking to improve the lives of so many. This is important work. And we know that we can't do it alone. So that's why I'm coming to you today to appeal to you for help. Will you consider supporting us with a tax deductible gift of any amount? You may give to us at our website and your gift will help to move generations to opportunities in STEM. You can give online or you may send us a donation to our PO box right here in town. I wanna thank you in advance for believing in us. I wanna thank you for your support and I want to thank you for helping us to help others. May God bless you.